I'm back home, and there was the Run DMC Raise in Hell tour mm. uh, downtown at Civic Auditorium, and that was my first real hip hop show. Uh, I'd seen like the Fat Boys and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, but like this one was Run DMC, LL Cool J, Houdini, yeah. the Beastie Boys. It was like yeah. The tour, yeah. The, the, well, look, maybe not at the time, but you look back, like they're all probably like rock and roll hall. Of yeah, they're all members. icons. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it was like the tour, like the entire tour was icons except for the opening act, which was a uh, Timex Social Club. <laughs> <laughs> but everybody else on the bill was like, yeah, the, the who, of the who, they were the cream of the crop. Yeah. Um, and so I went to that show, and it just impacted me like. And I was with a group of friends who, once again, they didn't even know I rapped. And the spirit just hit me, and the, the words came out of my mouth. I said, a year from now, I'm going to be on stage with those guys. And they all just looked at me and laughed. Right, right. <laughs> right? It's like, dude, that's hilarious. Like, where you, you right. don't even rap. But you're like, you don't understand. I just came from Boston. <laughs> they said I was nice. Right. I, was, I didn't get booed off the stage at the Cypher. Right. No, like the Cypher was the street corner Cypher. Oh, yeah. So it was like under the street lights, guys got 40 ounces. Sure. And, you know, like, it was like a grimy scene. Like, okay, we're, we're, we're doing it for real, you know? Like, and um, so I, I, I made that statement, not even... It didn't come from a place of arrogance or ego or because I... It was aspiration. It was just like, when it came out, like, I just said it, but I'd never been in a recording studio, never had my own beat or right. anything like that. I was writing over other people's instrumentals. And I just started rehearsing every day after that, rehearsing. Me and my DJ, we go... I go to his house every day, and we just practice, 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 practice. And over the course of the year, we're making steps. Okay, let's go in the studio. Okay, let's, we got now, we got a little three, four song demo, you know, maybe six months later. Uh, people start hearing my demo. I'm letting people, friends hear my demo. And they're like, oh, that's pretty good. Then uh, uh, one of the step parents of one of my friends heard and said, I got a friend that's in the music business. Maybe I should let him hear your stuff, you know? Yeah. And this guy was over in Detroit. I'm like, okay. And he lets him hear it. And he's like, it turns out that he was a music, he was in the music business. He was a manager. And so he brought us over, like, I want to manage you, you know? Okay. Nice. <laughs> so we signed a management contract with him. And things just start picking up. Next thing you know, um, we're we're meeting with like all of these powerful people, like everybody's coming through Detroit, you know, all the mu music people industry mm -hmm. that's coming through Detroit. Um, he's having meetings with, and everybody's like really interested in music. Then he put our song on the radio for a bump it or stump it. Mm. Um, oh yeah, you know, yeah. So he's on the radio W uh, GPR in Detroit, I believe it was, and they had like a bump it or stump it, and we won. No way. Right? Yeah, it's awesome. So we won the contest, and next thing you know, we're getting a call from the promoter of the Run DMC Raising Hell Tour. Get out of here. Run DMC is coming to the Hill Auditorium, and we <laughs> want you to open up. No way. Absolutely. So, and that was within the year you were it was, talking about? It was like literally a little over. <laughs> we heard about it. We got the opportunity within the year, but the show, so the Run DMC show in Grand Rapids was August 6th. 1986, we did our show with Run DMC November 1987. No way. Yeah, at the Hill Auditorium. It was November 12th, 1987. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, so it was like, oh, how my God, happen? how did that happen? Like, how did that, I mean, and, like, the posters came out, and it was Run DMC, and yeah. the name of my group was New Concept, and we were the only two names on the poster. No way. Yeah, it's like. So and like, they were they were the biggest at the time. Yeah, they're the biggest artists they, in the world. They had already probably done that Aerosmith collab. Yeah, and yeah, they were super they, hot. Yeah, they, they were, were the biggest everything. thing on the planet at yeah. the time.
Full Exposure Podcast is brought to you by Metro Health, University of Michigan Health, and Dr. Peter Hahn, in appreciation of the creative and artistic visionaries who enrich our lives through cultural connections.